Well, you want to get out this weekend? How about getting up this weekend <laughs> and a hot air balloon? You have the chance beginning tomorrow. It's the annual Balloons Over Russellville event, and Michaela Johnson joins us live from there, giving us a sneak peek at all of the fun. You've had so much for us, Michaela, and what now? Good morning, Karen and Hayden. You're right, it's been a fun packed morning. But if you see behind me, look at that beautiful hot air balloon that is up right now. That is what people are going to see whenever they come out for balloons over Russellville. But to tell us more about that is Rodney Williams, the event organizer. So tell me again, what will people see when they come here this weekend? You see a lot more balloons. Uh, you only see them in the evening here. Uh, in the mornings, you'll see them up in the air, but the balloon events scheduled at the Russellville Soccer Complex will be Friday evening and Saturday evening. There'll be tethered balloon rides where you can actually go up in them and there'll be the balloon glow on Saturday evening where all the balloons will line up around sunset and glow after dark so it's a good time to take pictures and see the balloons up close and we'll have live entertainment. We have a kid zone area with inflatables. We've got uh, all kinds of activities going on, the chainsaw carving competition so it's uh, a full weekend but the balloons, if you want to see those, you have to come early in the morning, see them launch and fly, and then in the evening is when you can see them here on the ground at the soccer complex. Absolutely, and so about these hot air balloons, tell us a little bit about how they work. If y'all can hear it, I know you can see it, they have that fire going up, so tell me about how does that work? Well, the process first, we inflate with a fan and fill it with cold air, and then once it's packed with cold air, we uh, hit the burner and that creates the heat that gives it the lift to stand up. So when you want to climb higher, you heat it hotter inside the balloon. When it uh, needs to come back down, you cool it off. So it's just uh, heating and cooling that makes the balloon go up and down. Absolutely, absolutely. And y'all can see just how big this hot air balloon is behind me, but you told me just how big it is. Let the people know that too, because it's, I was, I did not know that. This balloon is 90,000 cubic feet. That means you could put 90,000 basketballs inside of it, but it's seven stories tall. Uh, and it's uh, one of the average size balloons. There's some that are a lot bigger. Some balloons can take 15 to 18 people. Uh, we have one balloon coming that is, uh, about twice the size of this one. So uh, there's, a lot there, to see. there's all different colors and patterns and, and uh, even some special shaped balloons. We don't have any of those coming this weekend, but uh, balloons can be any design, any color. And uh, it's just neat to see all of the different balloons and how they glow at, at night. So Saturday night is the time to come and see all the balloons. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much, Rodney. And again, these hot air balloons are going to be here all weekend and they're just so beautiful to see. They're humongous. But coming up in the next half hour, I might be getting into one, guys, but you're going to have to wait around for that. I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you. Uh oh, I was hoping you would. Michaela, are you scared? <laughs>